cook, she got the recipe She got what you need That girl can cook, that black girl magic I gotta have it, the way she work it The way she whip it, whip it She's so savage, she ain't average, yeah You don't want none of this, <laughs> but you do hey y'all and welcome back to my channel and today we are making some of the best homemade chili you have ever had okay it is the fall season so we got to start making our soups we got to get into our chilies you know it's a whole vibe so let's go ahead and get started so i'm going to add in some onions and some green bell peppers to about a tablespoon of butter or olive oil okay i'm using olive oil if you don't have that you can definitely use butter and we're going to saute this down to get it a little bit translucent so we can add in our one pound of ground beef now once you have your ground beef added in you want to begin to kind of break that ground beef apart okay you don't want to break it up too too much because you want some of the pieces to be a little bit chunky you know this is chili we don't want minced ground beef all right so we're gonna break that up and we're gonna incorporate those peppers and onions into that mixture. Then we're gonna season it up a little bit. I got my Lowry's, you know how we do with the Lowry's in the South. All right, we're gonna sprinkle a little bit of that on as well as some black pepper. And we're gonna give that a quick mix and move on to the next step. Okay, so once you have your ground beef thoroughly cooked, you wanna make sure that you strain all of that excess grease and fat off. You don't want any of that in your chili, all right? So now it's strained. We're gonna add in our can of Rotel, y'all. Buy you some Rotel, don't use regular tomatoes. This is really gonna amp it up a lot, all right? Mix that on up, and then we're gonna get ready to add in our can of chili beans. Now, I like to use a mixture of black beans, pinto beans, and red beans in chili sauce. I find that to be really good, but if you don't like that kind of beans, you can use whatever kind of beans you like, or none at all. That's your business, all right? So we're gonna incorporate that, mix it in really well, and then move on to the next step. All right, so we're gonna add in some flavor honey, and I'm gonna start off with two tablespoons of chili powder, and I'm also gonna add in one teaspoon of ground cumin, as well as some garlic powder. Now look, if you wanna add in fresh garlic, be my guest, but the garlic powder works just as fine, all right? And also, if you don't wanna add in your own seasonings, feel free to get you a, a, a seasoning packet, one of those chili packs, they work just as fine. All right, so now I'm gonna add in about a fourth cup of beef broth. All right, you can use water if you don't have beef broth. Don't go out buying all this extra stuff if you don't have it now. All right, just use water. But we're gonna add in some beef broth so we can add in our tomato paste, which is also gonna help to thicken this chili up. All right, I promise you it will not be soupy after it cools down. So make sure you add the beef broth and water. And we're gonna give that a good mix, stir that paste in really well, and then we're gonna let it simmer on low. Okay, now look, I'm adding in just a little bit extra seasoning. Give it a little nice taste at the end, okay? We wanna make sure it's well flavored. We don't want no, no, no bland chili now, all right? So make sure you taste it. We're gonna cover it on up, let it simmer, and we will be ready to serve. And there we have our beautiful chili, y'all. We're gonna go ahead and plate it up and by adding some sharp cheddar cheese and a little bit of sour cream. And look, I'm adding some fresh jalapeno, but I don't really like fresh jalapeno, but that's okay. And I'm gonna also add in some scallions because we gotta have the green onions in every bite. And honey, I'm gonna serve it with some crackers and we are gonna dig right in. Look at that, it is a beauty. Y'all, when I tell y'all it was so good, Whew, I can't wait for y'all to try it. And you know what? I want y'all to let me know in the comments what you guys think about this recipe. Let me know if you found it easy. Let me know how delicious it is, all right? And I want to thank y'all for watching, and I'll see y'all next time in the next video. Bye!